premiumbeat.com. Okay, this time, my dear students, let's have Charles Law. Charles Law states the volume temperature relationship in gases. And it was determined by and named after Jacques Charles. We're in, in his experiment, Jacques Charles trapped a sample of gas in a cylinder with a movable piston in water bath at different temperatures. So mathematically, he expressed this relationship that volume is directly proportional at temperature at constant pressure. V is volume while T should be expressed in Kelvin. So that's the reason behind the, the simple review a while ago of converting temperature from either uh, from degree Celsius to Kelvin or from Kelvin to degree Celsius or some other uh, given in problems temperature may be in Fahrenheit hence you need to convert it first into uh, degree Celsius after which convert it into Kelvin so take note that the temperature that we will be needing when we use the law, the Charles law, should be expressed in Kelvin temperature unit. Okay, so let's write the formula for Charles law. We're in V is equal to KT or uh, V1 over T1 is equal to K. Or we can also have V2 is equal to K. V1 is the volume of the gas at T1. Or these are actually the initial values. The initial value for V1 while we have T1, temperature 1. And then V2 or the volume of the gas at final temperature T2. We can arrive with the formula v1 over t1 is equal to v2 over t2 cross multiplying this formula we can actually have our working formula for charles law v1 t2 is equal to v2 t1 why working formula because from this formula we can actually derive four other more formulas one formula for v1 one formula for t2 one formula for v2 and one formula for t1 if you are going to analyze charles law my dear students from this formula v is equal to constant times temperature the analysis here is volume and temperature are directly proportional to each other so as temperature increases meaning if a certain gas has a very high temperature therefore its volume obviously will also increase i hope you understand the meaning of high temperature from having a low temperature take note that temperature is the hotness or coldness of a certain object so as the temperature increases, volume should also increase. As temperature decreases, volume will also decrease. So let's do some formula derivation here from our working formula from Charles Law. V1 T1 is equal to V2 T1. If you're going to look for V1, you use you need to uh, look for the value of V1. Eliminate here T2. So, how will it be? So, V1, T2 is equal to V2, T1. Eliminate T2 here. Divide by dividing both sides with T2. This will be simply cancelled out. Hence, we arrive at the formula for V1, which is V1 is equal to V2, T1 over T2. If you are going to... Um, look for the formula for t2 on the other hand you need to eliminate v1 here so let's mathematically uh, 
solve it without writing just imagine it so your formula let's see if you arrive at this formula for t2 t2 will be v2 t1 over v1 am i correct so rewriting it class our formula for v1 using the charles law if you're looking for the initial volume of the gas use the formula v2 times t1 over t2 if you're looking for t2 use the formula v2 times t1 over v1 if you're looking for v2 v1 over uh, v1 times t2 over t1 and if you're looking for T1, use the formula V1, T2 over V2. So let's work on this problem given in your book. An inflated balloon with a volume of 0 0.75 liter at 30 degrees Celsius was placed inside the freezer where the temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius. Find out what will happen to the volume of the balloon if the pressure remains constant. And support your answer with a computation. So what are they given? The volume of the inflated balloon, 75.75 liter at 30 degrees Celsius. So T1 is given in degree Celsius temperature. So we need to convert this first into Kelvin. Now what happened? The temperature became very low. It became negative 10 degrees Celsius. So there was a change. So this is now our T2. But this T2 here, before using it in our working formula, in looking for V2 or the final volume of the balloon after temperature change into negative 10 degrees Celsius, first we need to convert again this negative 10 degrees celsius into kelvin okay so we're what are the given in the problem we were given v1 0.75 liter we are given t1 which is 30 degrees celsius and how to make it in kelvin temperature you just need to add 273.15 so t1 now becomes 303 Kelvin or 303.15 Kelvin okay you are also given the temperature the final temperature which is negative 10 degrees Celsius and to make it Kelvin you need to add 273.15 so what will happen to that is it will become 263 Kelvin that is T2 or the final temperature of the inflated balloon. Now, due to this temperature change, volume 2 or the volume of the final volume of the balloon will change as well. And uh, what changed happened, we can prove it using our solution. Using the formula V2 is equal to V1 T2 over T1. So substitute our volume 1 or initial volume of the inflated balloon was 0 0.75 liter. The T2 was 263 Kelvin and the T1 was 303 Kelvin. So, this will be cancelled out. And obviously, since liter was left in our working solution, that will also be the unit of our final volume. So, V2 will be uh, 0 0.75 times 263 is 197.25 liter dividing it further to 303 and we shall arrive at 0 0.65 liter so if you are going to write down the value of the volume 0 0.65 liter here take note of the changes 
the volume here, the initial volume here was 0 0.75. And obviously, it decreased to 0 0.65 liter. The value decreased. Why? Because there was also a decrease in the temperature. The temperature beforehand was 303 Kelvin. And uh, it decreased. The value became 263. And due to the decrease in the value of the temperature, the final volume of the inflated balloon also decreased. So Charles Law tells us that Whenever there is a change in the temperature of a gas, its volume will be directly changed. Hence, as temperature increases, volume increases. As temperature of the gas decreases, volume also decreases.